What's up, dads? Hey, this is your heads up video for the father-daughter date night. Um, just want to kind of give you uh, a recon of what to expect at this event. Um, the first thing is this, is have you asked your daughter? If you haven't asked your daughter yet, like literally, hey, will you go with me on the father-daughter -da date night? Do that. Um, my wife has to remind me every year, hey, have you asked your daughter? Hey, have you asked your daughter? Because there's something powerful um, about us expressing an interest of spending time with our daughter. Like not just assuming, hey, we're going to do this, but actually asking her, will you go with me? It's, it's just that aspect of pursuit that if we as dads will set a good example of pursuit for our daughters, um, then they will expect that from the other men in their lives. After you guys get all gussied up and head to Pleasant Valley Country Club, and I would highly suggest you all try to spend as much time with us as possible from six to eight, because there's a lot to do at this event. Um, and I just don't think if you go, don't get the full two hours, um, especially if you have uh, elementary, middle school, high school girls, you just won't get as much out of it. Um, so when you get there, uh, there's a handful of things that you're going to want to check out and participate in. Um, the first thing is, is man, you're going to want to um, eat dinner. Dinner is going to be provided. Um, it's at the country club. It's going to be great. Um, so sit down, eat dinner. When you get there, look for a little white mesh bag because in that mesh bag, you're going to find some cards that have both quotes from scripture and questions. And that may be something you just kind of put in your back pocket and save for later. Um, or it may be something you use then. It's just got questions that'll help you get to know your daughter better. And it also has quotes from scripture that you can speak over her and pray for her um, as um, you, uh, you, you kind of use this bag. Because it's not only for the night, it's also for um, moving forward. Also, after dinner, after questions and quotes, hey, you also, um, there's going to be a photo booth, which you're definitely going to want to get the memento of your time together with your daughter. Um, if you go outside, we're going to have carriage rides um, circling the parking lot. Definitely want to get uh, your, your, your chance to do that. Um, but then about 30 minutes in, so about 6.30, so from 6 to 6.30, it's just going to be chill. We just want you to hang out with your daughter, check out these various stations, but at 6.30, man, the party is going to be on. Um, the dance music's going to start, and I'm going to be out there with my daughter. My daughter and I are going to be hosting y'all, um, and I'm going to be setting the example of looking like a fool. So if I'm looking foolish, you can look foolish for the sake of connecting with your daughter. Um, so there's going to be some fun, high-energy songs. There's going to be some line dances. Um, that if you look down in the description down below, um, you can actually find links if you want to look at how to do these dances ahead of time. You can, uh, you know, study up and be ready to bust a move, show us what you got on that day. Um, but we're just going to have a great time and then interspersed between these high energy songs, there's going to be three or four slow dances and take the opportunity for every one of those. And as you're dancing with your daughter, I want you to think about something. I want you to think about how can you speak um, value um, and potential, value and potential over your daughter while you're dancing. What do you see in her that's worth celebrating? What, what potential do you see in her that she is going to fulfill? Even at a young age, you can catch glimpses of what God has placed within her. And use those slow dances just to speak that over her while you're dancing, whether she's two or whether she's 22. She needs to hear your affirmation. And so in addition to that, while the dancing's going on, um, we're going to play one game. I don't want to give you, I don't want to spoil it, but we're going to play one game in the middle of our night that's going to be a blast. Um, the, only pri the only prize will be the pride you get at knowing you're the winner and the best dad in the building. Um, in addition to that, one last thing you're going to want to check out is also in the room, there's going to be a place for you um, to build um, flower crowns uh, for and with your daughter. So again, you can see we've got a lot lined up for you, uh, but here's the deal. This is, this is an, a, not an event. This is kind of on-the-job training. We want you to get in the habit of dating your daughter. 
of asking her to do things, of taking her places and sing, singling her out, um, and then speaking value and potential over her, speaking that affirmation over her, showing her that pursuit, because if you'll do it, it'll set a high bar for any man that um, shows attention to your daughter. Because if she hasn't gotten it from you, she'll be attracted to it in someone else. But if she has received attention and affirmation from you, then any Yahoo that comes by trying to steal her away with cheap affirmation and cheap, cheap attention, it just won't work because she will have seen the real thing in you. And so, man, can't wait to spend the night with you. Looking forward to it. Uh, and we'll see you soon.